Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to add a formula field in Salesforce report. And we will learn this topic for both classic and lightning component. So let's proceed by understanding what is formula field in Salesforce. So in Salesforce, the formula field is a custom field that we can create by specifying the formula using the formula syntax. And these fields can be built in on a Salesforce standards as well as a custom objects like a contact accounts, opportunity, etc. So let's proceed and learn to create a formula field in Salesforce report. So here I open my Salesforce account and by default it is open in a lightning edition. So firstly we will learn for the lightning edition how to add a formula field in Salesforce report. So before proceeding to learn the steps, we will first discuss what is report in Salesforce. A report in Salesforce is a versatile tool that helps us to meaningfully organize and present our data. It consists of a list of records that adhere the requirements. So let's proceed with the process of adding a formula field in a report using a Salesforce Lightning. So firstly, you have to log in, then you have to click on this gear icon if you are not on a setup of account and then you have to click on this setup. After that, you have to go to this app launcher that are these nine dot are known as an app launcher. And from here, you have to search for the reports. So here I click on my app launcher. And here in a search bar, I am searching for reports. So now it will redirect you to the reports in Salesforce Lightning. So we have to create a new report for this. So I click on this new report button located on the right hand side. Then the dialog box appear on your screen and from here you have to choose for the desired report category that you want to create. And uh, on the left side we have a category for the reports. And here I select the opportunities as I want to create the report for the opportunities. Now you have to select the desired report type that is on the main screen and here I select for the opportunities again. Now on by clicking it will show you the button and here you will have to click on the start report button. So here I click. So now you have to make sure to save the report by clicking on a save button. So here I click on the save button. Otherwise we will get an uh, error with the name like report name can't be null and not be able to add a field formula. So here I click and uh, here I enter the new name as a opportunity expenditures report example okay so here i wrote the spelling incorrect so i correct it so it automatically fill up the unique name and now you have to click on the save button if you want to add description or a folder you can add it otherwise you can leave it as it is so here you can uh, see the message it shows you that the report is saved successfully now you have to click on the filters so here you have to click on the filters. The filter is loco located on a left side. Here you can see that. And from here you have to select the close date. So here I click on that. Then you can change it to the close date to the it remain as it is. And from range you have to select for the all time. And then you have to click on this apply button. Now you can show that it uh, shows you all the reports of an opportunity. If you are not still getting the report of all the opportunities, you can refresh your page. Now click on a outline and then select the group rows to group the opportunity data. Suppose here I am selecting the stage and uh, want to group it on basis of the stage of a different opportunities. Now click on the outline and from here you have seen a column of a group rows. So here from you have to select the 
group of the opportunity data so here i am selecting the type as i want to group the data based on the different types of opportunities so it takes some time so just wait till it uh, apply the conditions so from here you can see that it uh, create a reports on the basis of the type so now to get the latest changes you can refresh your page if you will not getting any changes so now after that on a left align click on the drop down arrow next to the fields so here you can see that here is my cursor and it shows you the option of a fields now click on it and uh, it will open now you click on a create formula and it shows you the fields option now from here enter the name of the formula field in the column name suppose here i entered it as expenditure example okay then optionally you can also add a description formula output type and the decimal points if you want now search for the field in the search box that we need to create a formula and uh, after searching for the field you have to simply click on a insert button and then you have to click on the operators okay if you want to add any operator so here are the operators here are the fields so from here i search for the revenue so from here you can see that i get the uh, annual revenue so i click on it then i click on the insert now i want to multiply it with the expected revenue and then i again click on this insert and uh, after applying my whole formula i'll simply click on this apply button even you can check it by clicking on the validate option now you have to click on the save button again on the right of the page you will get so it takes some time to apply the changes so wait till it apply all the changes on the report so now you have to click on the save and you can see that it save it so once the formula applied uh refresh the preview and uh, you will show the formula field that we defined in the report so let's see where it is so here you can see that now here we create a field with the name expenditure example and it shows you the value so with this we have successfully learned to uh, create a formula field in a salesforce lightning in on a report now we will redirect to the next point and learn to add a formula field in a report using a salesforce classic so for this firstly we have to shift to the classic edition so here i click on my profile and uh, here i will get the option of a switch to a salesforce classic so i click on this one so i am leaving because i don't want to save so it redirect to the classic edition now here on the tabs you will see option of a report if you are not getting here the option of a report you can click on this plus icon you will get the option of a report so after that you have to click on this new report button that is located on a left side on a top so then you have to select the report types and in this case i am selecting the opportunities and after that i click on this uh, create button next you have to save the report so here on the left side on a first we will get a save button if you not save it you will get an error like report name can't be null so here i am uh, saving it as a opportunity sub total report and you can see that it uh, unique name is automatically fetched out you want to add a description you can add it if you want to change the uh, folder you can change it and uh, after filling up all the details you can click on this save button so here, here it shows you it's already exists so let's change it to the example also and let refresh it 
it's automatically not getting it up so i am writing it again so you can see that i take it and now i click on the save button so if you have already a report with the same name it will not create it again so now you have to uh, select on this range drop down and here you will get on front of a date field and from here you have to click on the all time so now we have to click on the format drop down arrow uh, that is uh, adjacent to the preview so here you can see that the table format and from here you have to select it to the summary now you have to click on a specific field and then you have to click on the drop down arrow and select by group by this field so here in this case i am going to do it with the lead source so i click on this and here i click on group by this field now in the left align click on the add formula here you can see that under the formula we had option of add formula so i click on this option so now it asked me for the column name uh, which i want to provide for the call uh, formula field so here i enter it as a subtotal example and if you want to apply a description you can add it if you want to give a formula type you can also give it and you can also specify the decimal places if you want so here i select the formula type to the currency as it is a total and a subtotal it uh, is in a currency format so i select this one and finally i click on this and additionally you can also select the report level where we you want to display the formula for this so here i am setting it to the group 1 lead source so now here select the field from the summary field drop down that we need for the creation of the formula so here i am choosing the amount field with the sum function so here i click on the summary and from here i click on the amount and here i will get a with the sum function now select the operator that you want so for operators you have to click on this operator so i click on this plus icon add 10 to it and finally i click on a okay button to save the changes now you have to click on the save button on the top side of the page to save all the changes in the report and once the formula field is applied you can see that here you will get a subtotal example formula field name with the subtotal value based on the formula So with this we have learned to add a formula field in a Salesforce classic reports. So if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thanking you for watching and have a great day.